Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the KBB MP10V otherwise known as Kubian Bao's shortened version of Masterpiece Optimus Prime. So here he is and first we'll take a look at the box. Just get you out of the way here. Here is the box and you have a very nice picture of Optimus Prime. I love this cell shaded artwork here. I think I think it looks really really cool. But yeah. And you have the name on the bottom here. It's got an age range in it. This one has die cast, so I like that. It gives them a lot of weight. It looks really cool. You have the KBB logo there. That doesn't work. And you can try. It didn't work for me. Just came up with the, say, the thing saying that the website's not found anymore. But on this side of the box, you have crotch. You have a picture of the toy holding his gun. On the other side, you have a picture of the toy holding another gun and on the top of the box you have picture of prime on the bottom you just have your warnings and that qr code again that doesn't work on the back you have a very cool transformation sequence of the toy itself and you have the pens you have the matrix here name age range again it tells you what's die cast and it shows you all the contents of the box and I really like this box. This is a very, very sturdy, um, robust box. Like, it came from China to Canada, and it is still in one piece. So, that's great. That's why I'm not going to smack it off the table. Inside, though, you do get your instructions, which remind me a lot of the Age of Extinction instructions. And I like these instructions. They're made of a very nice, sort of like, laminate-style paper. And here's your cross cells of other figures that they make. So there they go there. There's your instructions. There's that QR code again that doesn't work. And they actually use words in here to help with the transformations like open, combine. Back here you have withdraw. Well, sorry, withhold and the stretching. And then it sh shows you the uh, axe assembly diagram here. And you have the upgrade and conversion section which basically tells you what you can upgrade and convert that are accessories. So... I really like these instructions. They're durable enough to be tossed. So before we take a look at the toy, I'll show you all the accessories. So he comes with um, one of these, 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 another one of these, another one of these, and a jetpack. So he has all of these accessories along with one more which is in the toy because it's in store in the toy. So we'll take a quick look at these. So first you have the axe which just plugs into itself if I don't drop it. There we go. So you have an axe, it's translucent, it's orange, it looks very nice, it reminds me a lot of the original toys axe. And I keep dropping it. So yeah, here it is and mine's a little warped from the package. But I can just fix that with a hairdryer, that's no problem. So yeah, Axe. He comes with the jetpack with some very nice silver paint on it. With some very nice gray going on here. Adjustable clear thrusters on this jetpack he used once in one episode, I'm pretty sure. You have some 5mm ports at the top so you can put some weapons on here. There's the connection port. It's very hollow but that's just so it can fit on his back. So yeah, jetpack. Next, you, he comes with... Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime Sword, for some reason. It's die cast, so that's a good thing. But I like this sword a lot better than the one that came with the original toy. I don't have it anymore because I sold mine to a buddy of mine, but yeah, this, this thing is pretty cool. He comes with this thing, which goes with Megatron here, who's upside down. Just basically slots in right there. And there you have a die cast. Fully die-cast, Megatron. And just get in closer so you can see all the very nice details that are molded in this guy. The barrel's even hollow, which I love that. I love the fact that the barrel's hollow. You get some grip there on the side. This is articulated. It doesn't stand, though. I wish it kind of did, but oh well. Then he comes with three alternate heads, which you cannot see. There you go. Oh, nope. 
There you go. He comes with three alternate heads. So you get... This is the first one. It's more of like a flat style mouth plate with a more human style face behind it. And a shorter crest. But yeah, this head's not bad. I like it. This one's probably my least favorite of the heads. It's the more like extended mouth plate style version of Prime. Then you have an Orion Pax head. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now on to the actual toy. He's out of focus. There you go. I'm using a new camera, so, and by new camera, I mean I'm using my new phone. So, yeah. It's a lot better than this old thing I used to use. Just quickly, this is the old camera I used to use that was terrible. I don't like it. Don't buy this camera. Unless you want to take pictures, then it's fine for that. But anyway, here is the actual toy itself, and this thing is amazing. This thing is really, really good. It has some issues for it being a knockoff. It does have some issues. But the plastic quality on here is amazing. It feels solid and robust. It feels better than this thing. It feels a lot better than this. So yeah, it is a basically a um, downsized version of Masterpiece Prime. A toy of which I do not own because I don't have $270 to spend just freely like that. I paid $60 for this. So I'd rather get the $60 version than the $270 version. But... Anyway, here he is, and just getting close here so you can see some of the nice molded and details that are on this guy. You got some lovely looking rivet action going on. You got some grill here. Some grill. You have a grill here, which is nicely chromed. This whole thing is nicely chromed. You got the clear windshields, which are also on the side. They're clear as well. You got some more chrome for the headlights. Some So that silver stripe, that iconic silver stripe going down the side. I know for a fact that this is not painted on the original, and I like it painted here. Yeah, you got some chrome here for the um, gas cans. You got silver pinstriping. You got some silver paint up top here, along with some silver and some gunmetal painted up here. And the smokestack's done in chrome. And I like how this is painted silver, too. I like that. Now, for die cast. These are die cast. That's die cast. These are die cast, the feet are die cast, hubcaps are die cast, Megatron's also die cast, I don't remember if I mentioned that, but they're die cast, so yeah. And the Matrix inside is die cast as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the, that, that thing. Ugh, I can't speak English today. So for a comparison, here he is next to Skydive. And as you can see, him and Skydive are about the same length, but when robot mode, this guy's bigger and obviously better. So here he is next to four other Optimus Primes I just had lying around, literally. Here he is next to the only G1 version of Prime I have. It's Power Master Optimus Prime. So there you have that going on there. Power Master Prime's taller, but uh, MP10 here, MP10V, sorry, is bigger, or longer, and he's heavier too. This is the American version, so, of well, the Canadian version, so it has no die cast up here, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Here he is next to my Evasion Mode Prime, the painted one. As you can see here, Evasion Mode Prime is the same exact height, but length, obviously, he's been chopped off. And just for the heck of it, that thing. The Gravity Bots, I'm pretty sure it's called Gravity Bots, Optimus Prime. Just because he was sitting on my desk. So let's get a group shot here with all these primes. So there's a look at all four of the primes together. So yeah. Oh, I'm not supposed to get rid of that one. I'm not supposed to get rid of you. You're the, the thing I'm focusing on. All right. So, transformation. To transform this dude, it's if you have MP10, it's exactly like MP10. I don't have MP10, so I'm going to show it off. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to come down here. I like to start and pull these sections down, just like that. 
Then you want to take the legs and split them. They don't tab in very securely, but the leg joints are stiff enough to keep them in place, which I like that very much. Then, and there's no spring-loaded button here to pull the legs down. It's just literally just yank it. So you yank on the legs. And they'll slide out, just like so. Then you want to take these panels back here, fold them out and around, and come out of focus. There we go. Just fold them out and around, just like that. Next thing you want to do is you want to take these panels at the side here and flip them around, just like so, to complete the look of the legs. Then you just want to take the feet and open them up. And there you have his legs, all done. Now he's a weird, very weird looking girl walk mode. Anyway, straighten everything out here. Now to work on the upper body, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the chest section, flip out the head. This is what I like to do. Then bring these sections out just like so. The side sticks and brings that out on its own, which I like. You want to fold these zip panels down here. Then you want to take the arms and you just want to swing them out and around like G1 Prime. Swing them out and around like G1 Prime. And just bring them up. First of all, close these just so you can get them out of the way. Bring these up because that gets them out of the way. Then you want to take this section here and unpeg it and bring it up just like so and fold it down and you can close the chest section up now with these wheels you want to rotate them 180 degrees and then bring them up and around just like that come to the back here and bring these panels whoop, without detaching everything and bring these panels just back and around like so and fold these silver sections or these chrome sections inward to complete his backpack and there you have the back all done. Now what you want to do is you want to bring this section down and very delicately snap it into place. Excuse me. There we go. So what I did was off camera there because I didn't want to worry about that was I pulled this out like I pulled this section out a little bit pushed down on this and pushed up on this section and it snapped into place so yeah and the grills kind of wonky so next thing you want to do is you want to rotate at the waist and stand him upright then you're gonna have to raise this up then you want to rotate the arms all the way around just like so. Take the section here, pull it down, and then open this panel up, rotate out the hand, and close that back up. They have an arm, all done. You wanna do the same thing on this side, just like so. And you can, you can push these in or leave them out, it's totally up to you. I like leaving them out and in sometimes, so it doesn't really matter to me. But there you have Prime in his robot mode. And I really like this thing. This thing is awesome. Again, he has some issues being this leg right here is a little loose. This arm was a little loose, but I fixed that. And the grill, which I'll talk about later on. But yeah, this guy is really, really awesome. He looks really, really nice. The one I'm doing a pelvic thrust, just like, Ugh! That's kind of weird. You don't want Prime doing a pelvic thrust, but yeah. Overall, he just looks really, really nice, and I really do like this thing. The detail on this guy is amazing, and I forgot to do something in truck mode. I just noticed these are supposed to be folded down in truck mode, so in robot mode, you just fold them in. Go me! I'm smart. Anyway, um, now for die cast parts that are visible in this guy, you have feet panels, the crotch is die cast, this grill is die cast, these are die cast, the matrix in his chest is die cast, which I'll get to later on. But yeah, overall, he's really, really nice. Um, articulation wise, the head can do a full 360 degrees, it can look up that far due to the neck joint and the platform, and you can look down 
that far due to the neck joint and the platform. No little like side to side motion, you can't do that. Arms can rotate a full 360 degrees. If you have them compressed in, just pull them out, then they'll go up that far. And when they're forward, they won't go out on that joint, but they'll go out on the transformation joint, which is perfectly fine. He does have a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow that bends 90 degrees. He does have wrist rotation along with finger clamping action and the, uh, the trigger, finger, trigger finger split thing there. Let's get him oriented here. He has a waist joint, which is really nice. Legs can go forward only that far. They can go back about that much. They can go out that far on a friction joint. He does have an upper thigh swivel, though it is limited. It does stop there. Thankfully, he has a knee swivel. So yeah, there's a knee swivel. He can bend that far back with his knee and bend this far forward if you really, really, really want to do that. Um, and the feet can go forward. They can't shift back, but the toes can bend down if that interests you. And he does have ankle pivot, which is really, really nice. So this guy is super well articulated. Now, for comparison, here he is with Skydive. So you can see now in robot mode, he's a lot taller than Skydive. Deluxe, and he's more of a Voyager scale. <laughs> Skydive died there, I apologize. Here he is next to Power Master Prime, and he's taller than Power Master Prime just by a smidge right there, his antenna. Are really, really short. I don't have good depth when looking through the camera. I have to... Yeah, but his antennae are taller than this guy. And here he is next to Evasion Mode Prime. And I want to get the Y Jang version of this. I so want to get that. That looks cool. But yeah, again, he's taller with the antenna versus this guy. And just for the heck of it. That was terrible. There we go. There he is with the Gravity Bots version. Because why not? You know what? Here he is with all the primes. All standing glorious. So yeah, there are four Optimus Primes. That's really good, that's okay, that's kind of bad, and that is really terrible. But anyway, and Skydive fell over again. So yeah, for his accessories, we'll show off the Matrix first so I can get the problem I have out of the way. It doesn't want to stand properly. Oh. There we go. So... The problem I have with this guy is this. When I was transforming this guy the first time when I got him, I was working on the grilled portion because he comes packaged in, in vehicle mode. And someone, I'm not naming who, bumped me. Like, bought me on the head. I don't know why. And when I was transforming the grill and caused my hand to shift down, causing me to snap this hinge right off. So this hinge is currently broken. So I have to very carefully lift this open. I don't know how we can see that. If you can see the pin right there, is missing the hinge versus on that side. But yeah, that, that hinge is broken. But inside his chest is a matrix. And to get his matrix, you need a screwdriver or anything flat to pry this thing out and drop it on the floor. But here is the matrix itself. And I really like the paint job on this. It looks really nice. It does open. It does do that whole opening closing thingy. I'm sorry. So if you want to, you can take Evasion Mode Prime, open his chest up, and just kind of shove it in there. Now he's got a matrix, which is pretty cool. Let me just get it out of here. And put you out of the way. Now Prime cannot, unfortunately, he cannot hold the matrix because it's way too tiny for him to hold. He can hold it like this. I mean... You can do the whole um, dying breath hold matrix like movie sort of thing, which is really cool. I like the way that looks, but he can't hold it on his own while holding the handles. Maybe a deluxe could. I mean, like Bumblebee here. He can't. Well, no, he can't. There's no grip. So yeah, nothing really can hold this, but it's still a nice little display piece, and I do quite like it. 
Gotta be careful with the grill there. Now, let's see. What should we look at next? The jetpack. Jetpack, the two pegs go into these two screw holes at the back here. You simply just plug it in. And there he has been now wearing jet the 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 I cannot speak English. Now he's wearing the jetpack that he used in that one scene in that one episode that one time. I don't know. So that's the jetpack. The axe is molded to fit only on this hand due to the little thumb hole it's got here. So it just fits on the hand like that and now he has an axe. Again, which to use in that one scene in the first episode of the show and then never used ever again. But every Optimus Prime since has come with some sort of axe. The AoE Prime Sword, he can just slide it in there and he doesn't hold it super well. Because it's not meant for him, but you can open the hand up and put the bigger handle in his hand. And close it, and now he holds it super securely. Like, only if I vigorously shake it will it come out. Megatron... He can't hold Megatron with the stock here, so you can just take the stock off and then put the gun in his hand, close the hand up around it and try and get the trigger in there. I'm not going to try and do it now, but he can hold the gun. And then he has another accessory hidden away. Open this back section and his rifle stored in there. Again, you will need a tool. There's a little hole here. Just push on the gun and somehow magically it will pop out and it doesn't have the spring loaded function like the original but it can unfurl just like that and you just flip down the handle pull his back up stand him upright and he can hold the gun this little tab connection that goes in the hand just like so and you just close it up around that and now he's holding his rifle which is out of focus, which is really, really cool. I really do like that a lot. It does look a little stubby in my opinion, but that's just due to this big block of a hinge here because they have to include that transformation feature. So I will take that out of his hand, hold it up and put it off to the side. Now, the alternate heads. These are these two alternate heads. So there you go. I'm only gonna put this one on because they're a bit of a hassle to put on. So, I will show you that if I don't knock over my size comparisons. I lost high Q. I'll find them later. Um, so, what you want to do with the alternate heads is you need a Phillips head screwdriver. You know, a little star plus, whatever you want to call it. There's a Phillips head screw in there. I don't know how well you can see that. No, you can't see it very well. But you just want to take it in here, focus your camera up. There you go. You just want to unscrew it. There's a screw, don't lose the screws. But there you have the internals of the head. You have the light piping in here, which is rendered useless by the fact that they paint the eyes. But, eh, oh well. But yeah, so you just take that, put that off to the side for now, and we'll take out the head on here. Same deal, Phillips head screw. Just want to undo it all the way and pull it off just like so. Set that off to the side, and we'll put Orion packs on. Now, there are two little nubs sticking off the side here, and on this, on this guy right here, you can see there's two little tracks right there and there. That's going to slide on. If I can focus, there we go. This is going to slide on to the head just like so. Then you want to plug the back of the head on. And then you want to take the screw, put it back in the head, and screw it back into place. And there you have the Orion Pax head on Optimus Prime, which looks really, really, really good. I really do like the fact that you can interchange the heads. I keep knocking everything off the table. Wow. Um, 
But yeah, that looks really, really cool on Optimus. And sorry about that camera cut off. So yeah, here's the other head. So yeah, that is just really, really cool. I really do like that. So yeah, that has been my look at the KBB MP10V or Kubianbao model MP10V, however you want to call it. And I really do highly recommend this guy. Do go out and buy this dude. You will forever love him. He is amazing. He's a very cool figure and I highly recommend anyone pick him up. So that has been my look at, well, I just said that already. Oh, well. Um, so that has been my look at the KBB MP10V, the downscaled version of Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And I'm that toy guy and stay tuned for my next video.